Hey everyone, I just wanted to stop in and check in and uh, just give you another little quick rundown of what we're doing, what I want to make sure you do this week. So we are in the middle of doing our individual conferences and also recovering both in English and in other classes. And um, I just like want to make sure that you hit everything that you need to hit by the end of the week. Okay, first off, any technical issues. If you're still having issues getting into the Zoom um, with some of the, like the verification emails and all that kind of stuff, you can go on our English Canvas page, the Zoom troubleshooting announcement. In here is uh, a couple of text tips and also a video of me walking through those things. All right, th th that's the extent of my knowledge. So hopefully if you try some of those, it will help out. If it doesn't, then you must take it upon yourself to call the technology help desk, right? That, like that is, those are the things I can do. If it doesn't work, if that doesn't fix it, then you gotta get someone who's a little more experienced to help you with that. And um, so you so you got to do that because otherwise um, you're just going to be missing out on more stuff. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to make sure you get back into the speed uh, up to speed with everything. So definitely do not leave the Zoom issues just perpetuating and and um, and saying, oh, well, I tried like get on that. Get on that help desk. And make sure we can solve this because there, there is a way to solve it, but it just might not be um, within my skill set. OK, so so make sure you do that. The other thing is we are in the middle of our conferences. Some of you have already had your conference with me. Some of you, your conference is upcoming tomorrow because it's Wednesday right now. And some of you have missed your conference either through tech uh, mishaps, uh, which a couple of them I've done just through messages um, or or you just did not show up for your time. And so if you have missed that, you need to reach out. We need to, we need to um, resolve that somehow uh, because that is A, it's both important. B, um, it, it counts for some points on your assignment this week which I want to show you because I've seen a couple. So if we go into the modules in week seven, this assignment, unit one, recovery and reflection, you are turning in this document once it is complete. I've seen so I've seen several people who have turned it in so far incomplete. So you'll see notes on there um, to just uh, resubmit it once you have everything complete. But please take a look at this rubric first. You will see there are four parts. The first part is the assignments and grades part. That your table Whichever one applies to you, either table table A, B, or C, it must be filled out, and it must have highlights, um, unless it's table C. But you do make sure, like we, we did, kind of focus that on in the conferences. But that's not all there is, right? Get that table filled out. Part two is the communication. Make sure you put your screenshot in there. Make sure you put your parent guardian's name in there, who is going to sign up for a remind, and then make sure they actually sign up for a remind. Okay, they got to be in there. You can't just type a name in. Um, and then also make sure they connect with the Canvas to get all the marks for that part. The conference, we have to have our conference and you have to put the post-conference remarks in this document, okay? So after you do it, after we have our conference, go back into that document, put this is what I'm doing next, this is what I'm focusing on, this is this is my plan. And there's a part four that is a reflection, which we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, I saw a couple of empty ones, just this is not just about putting the grades in, it's also about reflecting on our first unit. So make sure you have that paragraph response at the end of this document. When you make a copy of it, either the Google or the Word version, it will look like this. This front page are, are, is the instructions that tell you how to fill out the assignment and grades. Several of us have already worked through this when we were in our conference, but if not, you are going to uh, use it. Your table A is going to look a lot like this, except everything should have a highlight. It should be highlighted one of three colors, either gray, I've done it, yellow, I need to do it, blue, I need to get some help and resubmit it. Everything should have a grade, everything should have a highlight. If you're using table B uh, for another class besides English, same thing, assignment, grade, and any and, and highlights you need to know, okay? So make sure your table's all the way filled out. This is your connected communication. Make sure you got it here. Screenshot goes in this box. Parent guardian name goes in this box. And make sure they actually sign up for Remind and don't just put their name down, okay? Part three, conference. This is your post-conference. This is the mandatory piece. The pre-conference is optional. The post-conference is mandatory. Make sure you put in what your plan is, what we talked about, what you need to do. That's gonna help you focus. And part four, reflection. How has a connection, a lack of a connection, or an attempt at a connection helped you understand yourself a little bit better? If you want to use one of these bullet points, these are all the things we did in English class. So you could use one of those as your example, or you could use anything that's happened in this last six or seven weeks. Okay, so just make sure you do that. Just type it below in, in the blank space here, and then submit this document at the end, submit assignment, and attach it once it's all the way complete. 
This is the only thing you're submitting for me unless you are doing uh, makeup work. Make sure you use all use the submit buttons for those. Okay, so that's what you got. If you missed your conference, you need to need 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 to reach out to me. Um, if you're having Zoom problems, you have to uh, first try out this Zoom troubleshooting. The tips in there, and if that doesn't work, you got to hit the help desk. Um, and uh, that's what we got. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, guys. Keep it up, and I will see you soon.